Namaste and peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining here today in our prenatal yoga flow. I hope all is well. And just, I ask that we gave her any supplies we feel we may need for our session here today. Maybe we can grab a nice long bolster pillow. We may use this here today for relaxation. Maybe a yoga block or a yoga strap. Anything you feel you may need. Definitely grab something to drink to stay hydrated. And once we gather our supplies, may we find our bodies in a nice, comfortable seated pose. I am actually sitting on a bolster seat. A bolster seat is optional, but it is not required. Bolster seats are nice additions for pregnant moms who have nice big bellies. It creates that extra space between belly and floor. Also, bolster pillows are just comfortable to sit on. So as we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, whatever feels good for you, may we use the easy seat to help root and ground our bodies here today. Allowing a seated pose to bring us into our present moment. Ensuring that our tummies, ensuring that our backs are nice and long, meaning we are not sunken down. We have a nice elongated spinal cord here. Always keeping our spinal cord long especially when we have bigger bellies, to create that extra space for baby. Ensuring that our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears as we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. As we use the next five breaths to relax and go inward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we take a moment to relax our palms on our tummies, ensuring that our shoulders are melted down, we are simply taking a moment to focus on baby. Maybe we are pregnant, maybe we are manifesting. Whatever we are, may we just use this moment to go inward manifesting and focusing. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale our palms above our heads, finding our bodies in our seated salute. Our fingertips are reaching up towards the heavens. Our shoulders reaches up towards our ears, feeling that nice elongated spinal cord here. Maybe we can interlace our fingers together, our palms together with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. With our heart chakra open, our chin slightly up, allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back. Fill in this slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. As we breathe our palms towards our sides, allowing our fingertips to connect to the earth. Taking this time to notice what is going on around us. With our palms connected to the earth, may we be aware of our environment. Simply noticing. And during our session here today, we may hear noises, we may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming back into that salute. Exhale to prayer. Flowing back to our salute. We are doing nice arm rotations here. We are working on the upper parts of our bodies, simply being aware. If our palms are together in our seated salute, Maybe we can slightly separate our palms here. 
with our heart chakra open and our chin slightly up, we are using this seated pose to bring in light and hope, positivity. We are channeling in any positive and good vibes that we feel we may need in our lives. With our eyes gazed down, may we allow the flow to come inward. Two breaths. Breathe in. As we slightly twist our bodies towards the right, just a slight twist, we're gonna work on this um, spinal twist. As we allow our arms to relax downward, but we're not gonna go too deep in our twist because when we're pregnant, we have big bellies, we don't wanna over twist our bodies. So listening to your body when we are twisting here, as we are slightly gazed over our right shoulder, allowing the spinal cord to relax and soothe here. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow back to center, coming into a seated star, we're gonna bring our palms out towards the side. Yes, noticing how this feels. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up, gazing our eyes down. We are sitting in our seated star for we are a star. Taking a moment to go inwards. As we twist our bodies towards the left, slightly twisting our bodies, allowing our palms to relax downward towards the earth as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder. We are feeling our spinal cord soothe and relax here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, coming into that seated star. As we flow to our salute, breathing down to our prayer hands. Relax in the body. Thumbs are connected to our sternum. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Maybe our eyes are gazed down to closed. As we take this time to focus on how we are feeling at this present moment. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. I'm gonna come off my bolster pillow here, place it on the side. As we allow our feet to come into a bound position, we're gonna come into either a diamond or a butterfly. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. Now this bound position is a hip opener. You may feel it in your hip flexors, in your hip flexors. We use this pose to prepare the hips for labor. This also creates extra space between the belly and the floor. If we have big bellies, you'll notice that there's plenty of space here in this bound position. Ensuring that our spinal cords are nice, keeping them, we don't wanna be sunken down, always creating extra space for baby. As we place our palms on our ankles, we're gonna allow our chin to slightly come up as we flow into a seated cow. Maybe allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades. We're gonna hang out here for two breaths. Exhale into cat, bringing our chin towards our clavicle, spinal cord goes slightly towards the back. Exhale and back to cow. Flow into cat. As we find our bodies back in our diamond or our butterfly. Simply just taking a moment to notice how we feel. And if we choose, we can place our palms on our laps and we can slightly apply light pressure towards our thighs. If we choose, allowing our legs to come closer towards the earth. We can also lean our forearms on our legs. If we choose, this is allowing our bodies to go deeper into the pose. But keeping in mind, we don't wanna to go too deep. That relaxing hormone is in full force. Remember that as we flow back up to our diamond or our butterflies. Using our hands to bring our legs in as we straighten our legs out straight in front of us, coming into a staff pose. Taking a moment to notice how this staff feels within the body. Spinal cords nice and long. As we breathe our palms up to our suits, feeling that stretch. Breathe in. Exhale the prayer. Relaxing the body. 
noticing how we feel. Now, if we have big bellies, maybe we can come into a wide-legged staff pose. As we slightly hinge at the hips, reaching our hands down to our knees or our ankles. As we are slightly gazed forward or closing our eyes, noticing how this seated half forward fold feels within the body. We're gonna hang out here, allowing our natural breath to relax and soothe the body. Four breaths. Two more breaths. And if we're able, and only if we're able, maybe we can go down to a complete forward fold, reaching our palms downward to the bottoms of our feet. Noticing how when we're in that complete seated forward fold, we'll feel it behind our legs and our hamstrings. Simply allowing the body to relax and soothe if we're able to get in this pose for four breaths. Allowing the head to melt downward towards the earth. Two more breaths. Exhale into our half as we flow back up to our staff pose. Yes. It's taking a moment to notice how the staff pose feels within the body. As we bring our legs and we're coming onto our hands and our knees, finding our bodies in our tabletop pose. Our knees are hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow, noticing how this cow pose feels in a number of parts, the lower parts of our back. With our chin slightly up, cow pose. Exhale into cat, bringing our chin towards our platform. Spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Flowing back to our cow. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at table, we're gonna take a moment to check in with our bodies, gathering our balance as we take our right arm and reach it up towards the heavens. Feeling that stretch, fingertips are reaching up towards the heavens as we are gaze at our fingertips. Breathe in, exhale, thread the needle, right arm threads through the left, our heart chakra comes down towards the earth. As we allow our eyes to relax or gaze down, maybe we can wrap our left arm around our back if that feels good for you when you thread the needle. Or maybe you can extend that arm above your head, palms flat on the earth. Whatever feels good for you, thread the needle, five breaths. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we drop down to our cow, exhale to our cat. Flowing back to our table, as we take that left arm, reach it up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, gazing up at our fingers, breathe in, exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. We are connecting our heart chakra, soothing and centering here. With our eyes gazed down to close, may we use this thread the needle to focus on self. As we breathe in, exhale. And maybe we can wrap our right arm around our backs if that feels good, or extend that right arm above the head, palms flat on the earth. Five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we drop down to our crown, exhale to our cat, flowing back to our table. 
we're going to work on balancing our bodies here. We're going to extend that right leg towards the back. Yes, both of our palms are flat on the earth. We're going to take a moment to notice how this feels in our body. We have our balance. If we do not, we can lower our right toes downward towards the earth. So we can have our legs straight to the back. We can lower those toes downward towards the earth. As we extend that left arm forward, we are working on our sunbird pose here. This pose balances and strengthens the body. As we are gaze forward, we're going to hang out here for four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to table. Dropping down to the cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to table as we sunburn opposite side, working on our balance, bringing that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Both palms are flat on the earth as we gather our balance. Keeping in mind that we can lower our toes downward to the earth, if that feels good for us. As we extend that right arm forward, we are in our full sunburn as we are gaze forward. Four breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in, exhale back to table, dropping down to cow, exhale into cat. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, maybe we are in a wide legged down dog if we have the tummy or we're in our regular down dog. As we gaze back at our feet, maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet, moving our legs left and right. We are building strength in the upper parts of our bodies here. Three breaths. As we find our pause, we're going to shift our bodies forward, coming into that high plank. Drop into our knees if that feels good for us in our high plank. We can also come on down to that low plank. Whatever feels good for you. Two breaths. Exhale back down, dog. Maybe pushing our torso towards our thighs for a nice deep stretch. As we come on down to our four arms, coming into a dolphin pose. We are on our phone. Yes, buttocks is high in the air as we slightly walk our feet closer towards our bodies. Yes. We are gaze back at our feet. This dolphin pose prepares the body for headstand. However, we are not going to be doing any headstands here today. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we drop down to our knees, we're gonna use our pillow if we have one, if we choose, placing that pillow between our thighs, we're gonna come into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. So we can have the pillow between our thighs or we can bring that pillow in front of us and relax and soothe the body here. Allowing the heart chakra to relax downward towards the earth. Allowing the third eye chakra, our forehead, to connect to the earth as we use this time to meditate and focus, seeing how we feel at this present moment, simply being aware without judgment, allowing our torso to melt into the earth. Third eye is connected as we go inward for five breaths of silence. Breathe in, exhale. Three more breaths. We're going to do a bonus of two more breaths. As we extend our arms in front of us, coming into an extended child's pose or puppy pose if they were not already there. With our palms flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of this child's pose puppy pose. Using our palms to push our torsos forward 
and using our palms to push our buttocks towards our feet. Maybe we want to move our pillow before we spine away, pushing our bodies forward, using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. Noticing how the spinal wave relaxes and soothes the spinal cord. And we can allow our head, our cervical spine, our neck to flow with this spinal wave, even our entire cervical spine of relaxation. Yes. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we are back in our table. We're going to push our bodies back up to that damn dog, gazing at our feet. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, moving our legs left to right. Finding our paws, may we walk our feet towards our hands, coming up to a complete forward fold. Maybe we are in a wide-legged forward fold if we have big bellies. Maybe we can come into a half forward fold if we have big bellies, shall I say, because sometimes with big bellies, going into that complete forward fold can cause dizziness. So complete or half, whatever feels best for you. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow into a rag dial, hugging our elbows with our hands. Noticing how this feels within the body, two breaths. Staying in that half forward fold if ragdoll isn't able. As we flow back to that complete forward fold. Exhale to half. As we come up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Our palms are at our side. Noticing how this feels. We are standing strong. We are standing tall. Our feet are planted and rooted into the earth. Our heart chakra is open. Our chin is slightly up, shoulders are melted downward away from our ears. We are standing like a tall tree here. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, feeling this stretch here as we flow down to our standing prayer. Exhale back to our salute, palms together above our heads. Chin is slightly up, bringing our palms together. Point of finger is pointing up towards the heavens. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back. Feeling this slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. We're going to slightly separate our palms coming into that standing extended mountain. Yes. So our palms are separated. This is an extended mountain. When our palms are together, we are in our standing salute. Taking a moment to notice the difference between the two. Salute, palms together, palms separated. We are in our extended mountain. Yes. Hanging out here for two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing our bodies to slightly lean towards the right. Slightly leaning towards the right. Notice how that feels. Just slightly. We are in our standing crescent moon. As we slightly gaze up at the heavens, if we're able. Opening up that heart chakra. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Standing crescent moon, opposite side. Feeling that side bend. Not going too deep here. As we slightly gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra, two breaths. Exhale back to center, flowing back to our standing prayer. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, standing salute as we flow to our standing prayer, bringing our palms at heart center, relaxing our shoulders downward away from the ears. We are standing tall. Maybe we gaze our eyes down or close them if we're able. Taking a moment to notice how we feel in this very moment. As we are planted with our feet, as our head is connected to the heavens. We are on earth, we are in heaven. Taking a moment here to see where we are. As we breathe in, exhale. 
hanging out here in silent meditation for four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slightly bring our legs slightly apart here, that's just for a second, we're gonna come on down and come into a squat. Just bringing our body slightly down here. And in our squat pose here, we are working our pelvic floor here, yes. Once again, preparing the body for labor. We're just strengthening the core here, the pelvic, yes. Noticing how this feels. And we can squat up and down, if, or we can just stay still. Whatever feels good for you in your squat. Two more breaths. Exhale it back up to our Tadasana. Palms are at our side, bringing our palms, bringing our legs together. Maybe we can pedal our legs, moving our legs from left to right. Just taking a moment to see how we feel here in our hips. We want to ensure that we are not overworking our bodies here. As we find our paws back in our Tadasana, breathing our palms back up to our salute. Exhale a prayer. As we slightly hinge at the hips and pray our hands, we are in that half forward fold. You may feel this stretch behind the legs and the hamstrings. Two breaths. As we slightly bend our knees, coming into a chair pose, we are working on the lower parts of our bodies here, building strength. And we can keep our palms at prayer hands or we can extend our palms in front of us. Whatever feels good for you, three breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms back into prayer, chair pose twist, just slightly twisting the body, just a little. Exhale to center, chair pose twist, opposite side, slight twist, just a little twist. Exhale back to center, two breaths, building strength here. Exhale, complete forward fold or forward fold, whatever you're able to do. Noticing how this is a counter pose to what we just did. This complete forward fold relaxes and soothes the legs. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale into half forward fold if we were not there. As we flow back down to that complete forward fold, just for a second, walking our hands forward, bringing our legs to the back. We are back in our down dog. Gazing at our feet as we are walking our dog. We're gonna find our pause. We're gonna breathe our right foot forward. Yes, we are in our runner's lunge. So breathing that right foot forward. Maybe we're, if we have a big belly, we're slightly off to the side here. Yes, as we straighten out that leg, coming into a pyramid. Allowing the torso to relax over the thigh. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to that runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Breathe back, down dog, gazing at the feet. Maybe we can come on down to a dolphin, coming on down to our forearms, giving the body a little break here. We are on our forearms. We are in our dolph dolphin pose, buttocks is high in the air. As we drop to our knees, grabbing our pillow if we choose for comfort, as we relax here in the child's pose or puppy pose, using that pillow to relax and soothe the body, allowing the torso to melt forward into the mat, into the earth. Gaze in the eyes down or close in the eyes. Five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Extending our palms in front of us, if they were not already, finding our bodies in an extended child's pose, puppy pose. 
with our palms spread on the earth, may we find a way of our bodies out of this position. <sighs> Finding our bodies back in our tabletop pose. <sighs> Just for a second, gathering our strength, gathering our balance here as we push our bodies back up to that down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet, we are building strength here. As we find our pause, we're gonna breathe that left foot towards that left hand. We are in our runner's lunge, opposite side. Maybe pushing our bodies off to the side if we have a big belly. Two more breaths. As we extend, as we straighten out that front leg, coming into a pyramid, straightening out that front leg, torso relaxes over the thigh. Maybe we're slightly off to the side if we have that belly. Two more breaths. Exhale back to runner's lunge, bend in that front knee. Exhale back, down dog. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. <sighs> Finding our pause here just for a second as we bring our hands, our feet towards our hands. Back to that complete forward fold or half forward fold here. Allowing the torso to relax down. Three breaths. Flow into that half forward. As we come up to our Tadasana, we are back in our mountain pose. Last for a second as we flow back up to that standing salute. Breathe in. Exhale the prayer. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold. As we bend our knees, coming back into that chair pose. We are going to continue to build strength here in the lower parts of our bodies, working that pelvic floor. We can extend our arms in front of us if we choose, or we can keep our palms at heart center. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Bringing our palms at heart center. Straightening out those knees. We are back in that half forward fold. <sighs> Flowing down to that complete forward fold. As we walk our hands forward, bringing our feet to the back, we are back in our down dog. <sighs> Walking our dog, pedaling our feet, just taking a moment to rest here. Noticing how we feel within the body. <sighs> Finding that pause. As we breathe that right foot to right hand, we are back in a runner's lunge. Just for a second here. We're gonna push our bodies up to our warrior one. Feeling strength, feeling tall, feeling power as we flow to warrior two. <sighs> Just taking a moment to go inward here. Two breaths. Exhale back, warrior one or high lunge. <sighs> As we flow to our pyramid, straightening out that front leg, we are back in that pyramid. <sighs> Bending that knee, coming to that runner's lunge. Exhale back, down dog. Gazing at the feet, walking our dog here. <clears throat> As we find our pulse, we're gonna breathe that left foot to that left hand, runner's lunge opposite side. Just for a second. Catching our balance as we flow up to that warrior one or high lunge, whatever feels good for you. In our high lunge, we are both legs or both feet are forward, high lunge. Warrior one, we have that back foot kind of twisted as our bodies is forward. Two breaths. So warrior one or high lunge. As we flow to warrior two, filling the rotations here. Building strength, two more breaths. Exhale back to warrior one or high lunge. As we flow to our pyramid, straightening out that front leg, torso relaxes over the thigh. Breathe in, exhale. Flowing back to that runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Exhale, down dog. 
slowing down to our dolphin. We are on our forearms just for a second here. Dropping to our knees as we come into a puppy pose. In our puppy pose, our legs are kind of closer together, buttocks is high in the air. Torso comes down towards the ears. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here in this puppy pose. Heart chakra melts into the earth. Third eye chakra is connected. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Slightly gazing forward in our child's pose or puppy pose. Noticing how this feels. Slightly lifting that chin off the earth. <sighs> Just taking a moment to notice how this puppy feels in the body. This puppy pose prepares the body for labor. Prepares the mind for labor. But we are relaxing and soothing and taking natural breaths here. Having control of our breath. Two more breaths. As we spine away our bodies out of this position, noticing how this feels in the spinal cord, soothing and relaxing here. Finding our pause as we come back to our tabletop, we are on our hands and our knees as we cross our feet and our ankles. We're gonna find our bodies back in the seated pose just for a second. And we're gonna slightly come onto our side. Grabbing our long pillow, placing it between our thighs. Maybe we have another pillow for our head. And we're going to relax our body in the fetal pose. This fetal pose represents the fetus that is in the tummy. We are in our fetal, our baby position here. Using a pillow for comfort for the thighs and for the head if you choose. We can even put a pillow behind our backs to keep our bodies upwards. With our eyes gazed down or closed, we are using this time for self, for self-care, for self-reflection. And if we choose, we can place our top hand on our tummies and also go inward and focus on baby as well. As we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes, this is our time, me time, eight natural breaths. Six more breaths. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, maybe we can rotate our hips and our buttocks, noticing how that feels, slightly awakening the body. Taking natural, subtle breaths here. As we use our top hand to push our torsos away from the earth, finding our bodies back into a seated pose. Coming to our diamond or our butterfly here. We are once again gonna open up our hips here, working on our pelvis. Simply noticing with, with our hands connected to our feet, our spinal cord is nice and long. We are in our seated cow. Chin slightly up. Two breaths. 
Exhale to cat, coming into a slight cat pose. Breathing back to our cow, relaxing the body here. We're gonna bring our feet into, a, into an easy seat here, just for a second. Now, if we have big bellies, we may not be able to, to do this pose, but we're gonna work on a cradle pose. Taking our left or our right leg and foot, lifting it up in the air and cradling that into our hand. So our leg resembles a baby. So we have our elbow and our arm holding the knee, the lower parts of our hands is holding the foot and it feels exactly like we are cradling a baby. This is a cradle pose. This is a pose we can do when we are trying to manifest baby as is fetal pose is a pose we can do to manifest baby. And we simply gaze our eyes down and close our eyes. This is a pose that we can do if we are pregnant and we're trying to connect to baby. Cradling our arm, manifesting, visualizing baby. Spinal cords are nice and long here. And if this pose causes any pain, may you flow on out of this pose and come to any easy seat that feels good for you. However, if this pose feels good for you, two more breaths. As we slowly lower that leg and we're gonna switch sides, we're gonna do a cradle pose on the opposite leg, noticing how it feels, hovering the leg within the arms here. We are holding this leg just like it is a baby. We are cradling, we are connecting to baby. We are going inward. Three breaths. Gaze in our eyes down or closing them. Two more breaths. Exhaling the foot back down, relaxing the body. <clears throat> As we allow our bodies to flow in a fetal pose on the opposite side. So whatever side we was just on, we are going to flip. Getting that flow again, placing it between our thighs. We just went from our cradle pose. We are back in our fetal pose, opposite side. We are relaxing and soothing here. We are visualizing the fetus inside of our bellies. We have our eyes gazed down and closed. Our mind and our bodies are completely relaxed as we hang out in our fetal pose for eight natural breaths. Mm. Allowing the body to completely melt into your yoga mat. Six more breaths. Four more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, maybe moving our hips and our back, this is how this feels. We are slowly awakening the body from our fetal. Allowing the body to awaken as we take that top heel to push our torsos away from the earth, finding our bodies in a seated position. Any seated pose that feels good for you, may you find your seat. I am gonna come into a cow face in our seated pose, our buttocks is grounded to the earth. Our spinal cord is nice and elongated here. Keeping in mind that throughout our days, even when we're not in class, we don't want to be sunken down. We want to always have that nice, elongated spinal cord, nice and strong, creating space for baby. Also keeping us and giving us a good posture. With our shoulders melted downward away from our ears, as we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. 
as we take a nice breath in, exhale. Taking a notice of how the breath soothes and relaxes the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, bringing our palms inward, allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, if that feels good for you. Noticing how we feel, being aware of how the practice was for us and our bodies. Whatever thoughts, whatever emotions we had, may we take notice of everything, simply being aware without judgment. Always being kind, always being loving to self. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.